We are now seeing a Karen in her natural habitat, a Starbucks. She is pursuing her long desire for coffee, but even more than that, the conflict and drama that comes from the one. She will use a seemingly normal event as a means of tormenting the locale's poor, minimum wage earning barista. The latter greets her pleasantly, a naive mistake from the youngster. Hello? Oh, hi, welcome to Starbucks. Can I get anything for you today? I would like my usual order. Um, I'm so sorry, we get a lot of people in and out of here and I can't really remember. You're supposed to remember my order, I've seen you for the past three years. She places a ludicrously long order, knowing the unlikelihood of the sleepy juvenile getting it right. I would like myself an iced latte with extra caramel on the sides, two extra shots of espresso, and I would like four pumps of vanilla, two pumps of peppermint, and three pumps of cinnamon. And I would also like extra ice in it, all to be dairy free. Now. The Karen's wish for caffeine is a test of her patience. Hey, I'm really sorry, but do you think you could repeat it? It just kind of went out through one ear. No! I don't have the time to repeat what I just said. I have a job to get to, and this is my last day. And if I do this all wrong, I'm getting fired, and I cannot get Look, fired. Look, ma'am, 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 I understand this, but... I had a really long night last night. You know, you wouldn't even believe what happened, so... That doesn't matter to me. I have a job to get to, a reputation to keep, and I have to sustain myself in life. Can you get me my coffee? I can't get through my day without it. Look, I'm sorry. Could you just repeat it one more time? No! Just get my coffee! Well then, what am I supposed to get for you? Just get what I told you! Okay, um, well, if it's wrong, please don't be mad at me, because I have a really hard time when people are mad at me, you know? You get my vibe? Yeah. Let's okay. go. You know, I kind of at least have a tip. We'll see. My drink you ready yet? It's been almost 24 hours and I've been fired from my job. Drink. Where's my drink? Venti latte for Karen. Finally! Oh my god. Karen is now on the attack, releasing the string of complaints that she has had ready in the back of her mind in order to beat down the barista. So sweet drop. Um, what do you mean? The drink? It's not sweet enough. Well, I put in like four cups of sugar, bro. You haven't even tasted it yet. Yeah, it's not sweet enough. And look at this container. It's so itty bitty small. I asked for 48 ounces. You gave me what? Ma'am. 30? That's a venti. We only sell drinks up to 31 ounces. After being met by unexpected resistance, she resorts to acting offended, one of her many defense mechanisms. Well, See, I'm special. Do you know who I am? No. You spelled my name wrong, too. You spelled well, it Karen with a K. Well, my name is Karen with a C. This is a personal attack. Do you really not know who I am? Well... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just that typically Karen is spelled with a K, and you're certainly a typical Karen. <sighs> Ugh. You are so annoying. My name is Karen Duncan. I am the CEO, receptionist, and master of locksmith. Actually, I was. Yeah. I dare you locks, and you should respect me, because I'm older than you. Hold on. Um. Then, she pounces. Ma'am, I've chat with your manager is long overdue by now. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never heard of Dare You Locks, but um, that does not apply here at Starbucks, and your drink is fine. No, it isn't. Can I speak to your manager? Oh, jeez. I'm glad that was all a dream. You got my drink. Oh, no!